solving for a reactant using a chemical equation. This is the second example. So let's build our reaction. I'm going to move to this one a little more quickly. If you want more background, go back and watch the first example for this topic. So this reaction is photosynthesis, and our reactants are water reacting with carbon dioxide to produce glucose, a simple sugar, plus oxygen gas. This is balanced with these coefficients, 6, 6, and 6. So now uh, this is balanced. The coefficient here is a 1. So what do we have? We have uh, 3.5 grams of water, and they want to know what mass of carbon dioxide is consumed by this reaction. So what mass of carbon dioxide is needed to react fully with this 3.5 grams of water is essentially what we're doing. Now notice, what we have here is a conversion from an amount of this to an amount of this, another reactant. In the past, we've been converting from reactant to product or product to reactant. Guess what? Stoichiometry is just simply comparing amounts of substances involved in a reaction. It doesn't matter if it's a reactant or a product. I can go from reactant to reactant or from product to product as well. So that's what we're doing here. We're converting from an amount of this reactant to see how much of this reactant is required to react with 3.5 grams of water. So our starting point is 3.5 grams of water. We need to first convert this to moles so that we could use the coefficients from the balance equation as a mole ratio. Uh, conversion factor. So we have 18.02 grams of water is one mole. From the balance equation, I can pull these coefficients. Six moles of water react with six moles of CO2. Now I'm not done because if I check my units, I have moles of CO2 right now. We want a mass of carbon dioxide, so let's place one more conversion factor. We want the uh, molar mass of carbon dioxide to use here, so 16 times 2 plus 12.011 gives me in one mole of CO2, there are 44.011 grams of CO2. That is the molar mass of CO2, which we already know how to find. So moles of CO2 cancels, now I have grams of CO2, which is what they're asking for, grams. So let's do the math, 3.5 times 1 over 18.02, close parentheses, 6 divided by 6, close, open, 44.011 over 1. I get 8. 0.548196 grams of CO2. We wanted to two significant digits, so 8.5 grams of CO2. Let's interpret this answer. If I have 3.5 grams of water, I'm going to need 8.5 grams of CO2 to react fully with this 3.5 grams of water, meaning all of this, there's enough CO2 for all of this water to be consumed. Once all of this mass of water is gone, uh, the, the CO2, the 8.5 grams of CO2 will also be used up and the reaction will stop.